Hello, I'm Nathan Judo. I'm here with Mr. Joe Edwards. Uh, Joe, mm. Leicester won Wolves nil. I guess, in one word, underwhelming, really. Yeah, it's uh, Leicester are a bogey team, aren't they? And that, and that carries on. It's 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 a, it's a difficult one because it's such a dubious uh, decision for the penalty. Kilman, what can you do? You can't run with your arms down by your side. I mean, you can't blame him at all for that situation. But equally. Wolves just haven't done enough going forward. Mm. There was promising signs, wasn't there, against Palace, and we thought it clicked in attack. But um, yeah, taking a bit of a step back today. Yeah, I mean that first half, they were they were insipid, really, weren't they? Really, really poor. Especially when you know when you look at the, the last two games. Okay, you know Newcastle was a disappointing draw, but they were they were decent. They had decent moments in that game. Palace, you thought, okay, Wolves are back to the best here. And then that first half was like we've seen for the rest of the season, really. It was so poor, so slow, so sloppy as well. When they did have possession, they gave it away. When they didn't have possession, they were defending so deep. It was back to the, the same bad habits. Yeah, it's just passive, I think, if you summed it up in one word. And I think for, for, an element, for a period of time, I think it was excusable because after that penalty, and again, Kilman, what can he do? It's point blank range, mm. you know, it's deemed as a penalty, but... You're going to get frustrated and you expect heads down, I guess, for a few minutes. But it carried on for too long. Then they improved as the first half came to an end and kicked it up in gear slightly in the second half, but not, not enough. Against a team like Leicester, who, who are do, admittedly doing well and deserve to be where they are, you've got to do more to trouble them. Yeah, but I mean, you know, whether, whether it's the penalty or not, the, the second penalty is an absolute nailed-on penalty. I mean, what Norrie's trying to do there, I don't, I don't know. It's basically an assault in the area, just an experience. And, and you know, thanks to Rui Patricio, kept him in the game, because, to be honest, after that first half, I thought 1-0 was a fl pretty flattering scoreline for yeah, Wolves. Yeah, and right now, Nuri, it's... Um, it's a bit of a reality check, isn't it? Mm. Uh, I mean, it was a fantastic debut, and we all really like the look of him against Palace, but Nuno had pointed out in the week he needs to improve defensively, and we saw that on display. He just fails to deal with a long ball and then just hacks just in down. Mm. It's, you know, while the, while the first penalty is very contentious, that one is, you know, as, as clear as they come, but it's uh, just a... Just a strange one because after last season and all the VAR and the goals being chalked off, you've had another incident here today. Yeah, Wolves haven't been great. They could have came away with a point. It's just um, just a bit of an underwhelming now to go into the international break now. Second half, of course, they were much better and we expect them to be much better. They couldn't be much worse. Uh, I thought Neto, Neto was decent. Uh, Pedent had his moments. I thought Dendonka was, worked pretty tirelessly throughout the game, actually. I thought it was one of Wolves' better players. But at the same time, when you only test Kasper Schmeichel, really, with one, one never, sh you know, OK, it was a great save, but one never shot, you, you're not going to get... I mean, Leicester have gone top tonight. Yeah. At the moment, at this moment in time we're recording, they've gone top. You're not, ask you're not going to get much, are you? No, and, you know, you've got, you've got Neves, who has unleashed a bit of a, a, you know, a very good strike that's been saved, but then he has that free kick 20 yards out right in the edge of the area and floats it about 10, 15 yards over the bar, so... I mean, I think apart from that shot for Neves, I thought it was anonymous. I thought it was really poor today, yeah, wasn't and, he? Uh, Jimenez was absent Jimenez for most of it. Yeah. Um, I mean, he, you, you mentioned Pedenza and Neta, but they had off days, mm. you know. I, I think Traore did all right when he came on. Mm. Um, but no, nobody really comes out of this with, with massive credit. And, you know, they all go away on international duty now. I think about 16, 17 of them. So. While we're in lockdown, crazy. Yeah, cr crazy situation. It's just a bit hard to wrap your head around. Hopefully, we, you know, we wanted to go into this international break with the unbeaten running tact. It's, it's not to be there. No, it's not. Uh, so, so where do Wolves go from here? I mean, this question marks have got a really difficult run coming up. And, uh, you know, you say it starts after Southampton. It probably starts with Southampton. We're playing some yeah. good football at the moment. Uh, you know, what, what do you change? Do you change things? Do you think, I mean, Marcel came on at the end there. We saw Fabio Silva come on, Traore came on. Uh, you know, can we expect to see some of these players maybe maybe getting a bit more of a chance? I think Traore will play against Southampton. I think he, I think he did himself more justice than he has done in previous games coming off the bench. I, I thought he, his, his presence kind of pen Leicester back a bit mm -hmm. more. Uh, and, you know, he, yeah, he's still not at his free-flowing best, but I think he's certainly an option for that game. Mm. And... Um, it's, it's difficult because they've had so little time on the training pitch and I know we keep going back to it but it does make an impact um, but that, make no mistake they've got to improve they've, they've got to improve going forward it's just not clicking and they need to just come up with more goals I mean it's eight games and you know it, it, it's just not many goals mm. and that's, that's the be all and end all they've got to find a way to be a bit more unpredictable and a bit more and a bit more free flowing in attack Leicester 1 Wolves nil for the post-match reaction. Make sure you log on to expressandstar.com.